Luxury automaker Genesis isn't necessarily new to the EV game, as we've already seen an all-electric version of their G80 midsize sedan. However, what the company is lacking is a dedicated electric vehicle platform built to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Tesla and Audi's e-tron family, until now. This is the 2023 Genesis GV60, which takes its bones from parent company Hyundai's eGMP platform. It does share some styling proportions with other eGMP vehicles like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, but the Genesis has a character all its own. Before we get too much further though, be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Up front, the Genesis GV60 gets the company's signature twin lines headlights, as well as a big shield-shaped grille down low. Unusually for an EV, this actually does look like a real grille. There is a plastic blockout panel right here, and then down here, there are some movable shutters that help cool the battery. But this is kind of a surprising design feature for an electric vehicle. A lot of companies are kind of making their front ends very smooth and very plain on EVs, whereas Genesis is trying to make this feel more dynamic and exciting and sporty. I do kind of wish they'd maybe considered some other solutions to do that besides this, this big plastic lattice work and a blockout panel beneath, but at the same time, it does look very interesting and it looks very similar to other Genesis products in the lineup as well. From the side is where the GV60 shares the most visual DNA with the Kia EV6. Like that vehicle, it has a very obvious fastback roofline in the rear, and Genesis is calling this a four-door coupe SUV, which would make it the first such vehicle in their lineup. Up front, there's a really cool clamshell hood. It's also the first vehicle in the Genesis lineup with a clamshell, and I think it looks fantastic. Any vehicle with a wrap-over hood like that just looks sporty and exciting to me, but it also was done for a reason, to kind of clean up the aerodynamics on the front end. Around the side, it's also much smoother and it doesn't have nearly as many character lines as the G80 sedan or the GV80 SUV. And that's a deliberate choice, again, to kind of make this vehicle appear more futuristic and slippery and modern. My favorite design feature of all, though, is this fantastic chrome piece of window trim. I actually really didn't like it when I saw it in photos, but in person, it looks much more authentic and attractive, and I think it's fantastic. My favorite feature is this little lightning-shaped Z on the C-pillar, which they put in there to kind of invoke the power of electricity. You can also see that the chrome trim even incorporates the windshield into the daylight opening, giving this vehicle a very cohesive and kind of canopy-like appearance. From the rear, again, the GV60 looks a little bit more flowing and organic than other Genesis products. These fantastic soft flanks dovetail into these really cool pointy, dual lines taillights that are a little bit more aggressive and kind of squintier than other current Genesis products. There's also a very attractive and well-integrated ducktail spoiler that incorporates the third brake light right here, again just kind of cleaning up the appearance a little bit more when it's not illuminated. One of the most interesting design features back here is this triangular nacelle for the rear view camera. As you'll remember on gas-powered Genesis products, they have little shield-shaped exhaust finishers, and obviously on an EV you don't need an exhaust. So Genesis got creative and incorporated that front grille shape right here to kind of tie it in with the rest of the company's lineup. The GV60 is the first vehicle to debut Genesis' new key design. Now, it seems a little weird to get excited about a key, but it really is the most frequent thing that you touch in your vehicle. And they've done a really good job of making this feel premium and attractive, especially in this gloss white design. I really think it's very cool and it just kind of makes the vehicle feel a little bit more special. If, however, you want to keep your keys in your pocket or in the house even, there is a new biometric identification process for this vehicle. A fingerprint scanner here and a face recognition camera gives you access to the car even if you don't have the key anywhere near you. The interior of the GV60 also breaks new ground for the Genesis family. There are a few carryover elements like this wing planiform design for the climate controls that looks like it was plucked straight out of the GV70, but otherwise a lot in here is all new. One of the coolest features is this crystal sphere shift knob. When it's parked or charging and not ready to drive, the crystal stays visible with ambient LED backlighting to kind of make it glow a little bit. But then when you're ready to get on the road, it rotates backwards revealing a shift dial that you can use to get underway. The GV60 also debuts new infotainment for Genesis as well. One single dashboard panel houses both the digital instrument cluster and the infotainment package, and it's all linked together. And for the first time in a Genesis, you can finally display a full screen map view right in front of the driver. There's a lot more configurability in this system than there was in the old one, and that is a huge leap forward for the company. 
Given how distinct the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 appear from the outside, we were a tiny little bit disappointed when the GV60 debuted with kind of the same fastback styling as its Kia sibling. However, Genesis designers have given this vehicle a personality all its own with the two line lighting elements and bold front grille. There's also a fantastic and luxurious interior with some cool surprise and delight features that will make luxury buyers very happy. Combine that with the eGMP's industry-leading charge times of 10 to 80% in less than 20 minutes, or more than 50 miles of range in about five minutes, and the GV60 could be the perfect entree for folks looking to get into a luxury EV. Pricing should start at about $40,000 when it arrives in the first half of next year, rising to $70,000 fully loaded. Thanks for watching.